Hi, you guys. I'm going to think I'm crazy, but I'm coming to you today from my bathtub. <laughs> I did like hours and hours and hours and hours of reading yesterday, so I need some self-care. So I want to be an I want to be a good example to you guys, but I literally right before like I already had the bathtub water running, and the um, mailman came and delivered this new deck that I've been waiting for. It's the essential oil oracle cards. So um, this isn't a very popular or well known deck, so I definitely wanted to do a review. I did already unbox it because I don't want to drop anything in the bathtub. I only have like my hands because I'm holding my phone. So it's by Lisa Powers. Um, as many of you guys may or may not know, I received my tarot and oracle reader certification through a group that was, um, through doTERRA, doTERRA essential oils. And, um, also one of my, one of my two crystal healing certifications came from this group. If that is something you guys are interested in earning, and receiving. I recommend it. You can message me um, for more details on how you can join my group. But what's awesome about it is that instead of, um, you know, paying like $400 for a course, plus then you'd have to buy your course materials like your books, your cards, or your crystals, depending on which class you take. This way you buy essential oils, which I would want anyway. And I love doTERRA. They're so good. And by the purchase of your oils, which, um, this one's Anchor, this is part of the yoga blend, so it's a really grounding blend, which is why I'm using it today. Um, actually, what does it say? Studying, it's called a studying blend, okay. But, um, so you would buy your essential oils that you get to use anyway, and then from the purchase of the essential oils, which you only need to buy an enrollment kit of $100 or more, and that earns you one of like one course and so you'd have to choose between or you'd get to choose between the crystal healer or the um, certified tarot and oracle card reader. OK, then if you want to continue purchasing oils, you totally can and you will want to because they're so amazing. You can earn the other one. And then there's even other courses like holistic healer, um, certified essential oil therapist or aromatherapist, I guess it would be called. So, you know, it's amazing. Like a hundred dollars worth of oils, first of all, is cheaper than a course that's, you know, these courses are normally upwards of $500. And there are some like, you know, Colette Baron Reed's courses are like over a thousand. Okay. So you're getting the course, plus you get the oils that you would want. Anyway, you get to pick what oils you want. They're amazing oils. Anyway, I, I I'm not doing this to to sell you guys on it, but honestly, um, it's amazing program. So let me know if you're interested, but for now we're going to go through this deck. So anyway, I'm super, I love essential oils. I use them every single day. So I thought this was a unique deck. Um, so I've already opened it. Like I said, I love the box. Um, not sure who the publisher is. Let's see here. If it says gentle and loving guidance, essential oils can help support you as you release suffering and step into your personal power. Essential oils have been used throughout history for physical, emotional, and energetic well-being. Each oil has a specific set of compounds and resonance. This set of 78 cards will help connect with the resonance of each essential oil, so you can use that to help you learn, heal, and grow. Each card provides you with information about the oil, such as corresponding chakra, as well as a message that you will use to help you access the deep aspects of yourself that need to heal. You can use these cards alone or as a part of a multi-sensory journey with essential oils to help you gain clarity, release is not serving you, and shift your energy. Wow. And that sounds amazing. And yeah, I don't see where it says the publisher, but again, this is Lisa Powers. I believe I've heard her name before, so I think she does have other decks, but I'm not sure what those are right now. So here's the cute little guidebook. It's just like super thin because the thing is the cards have a lot of information on them. Okay. So like, for instance, here we have soften. I take control trigger statement. What women's, Hmm. I guess I don't know what oil this would be. Women's. That's 
that's not, maybe that's not a good card to start with. That one's kind of confusing me a little bit. Uplifting. Maybe let's flip the deck around and see. Because, I mean, there's 78 cards in here, so maybe there are a bunch of essential oils, and then there's other others that are just general, like, messages, which it looks like. Okay, so here's one. Arbor, Ar, Arborvarte, which this is a tree bark. First of all, this one is super good for grounding. It's really excellent for anti-aging. This tree is known to, like, never age, and so it's got, like, a ton of... Um, you know, antioxidants and things that fight free radicals. So this is an oil that is amazing for that. It's also a really excellent anti-inflammatory, just so that, just a little bit about the oil. So Arborvitae is the energy of flow. Why are things such a struggle is the trigger statement. The true statement is I am in the flow. Take a breath, dear one, and allow yourself to fill the flow of life through you. Release your need to do and just be. So this would be for somebody who feels like they need to fix everything and do things. And this is just, you know, kind of telling you to be, in my opinion, be like a tree and just and just be there in the moment. Just be grounded in the earth and just be in your strength without having to feel like you're doing anything else. Okay. Then we have basil, which I love basil. Um, I actually use my doTERRA basil essential oil all the time in cooking. Um, the thing about doTERRA's oils that makes them amazing is that they are um, therapeutic quality, certified therapeutic quality. So they are super safe. Not every essential oil is safe to ingest internally. And, um, and even there are some of doTERRA's that aren't because they, you know, they could never be, but it'll let you know which ones, um, you know, can't be. So I use basil all the time in my cooking my Asian cooking and some Mexican and Italian cooking. So basil is the um, energy of inspiration. I am tired of it all is the trigger statement. The true statement is, I find strength in my purpose. Please rest and know that in this stillness, you will find clarity around your purpose here. The need to cope will fall away as you find the question you are the answer to. As you find the question you are the answer to. Are these kind of cool looking cards? Oh, and it does show the chakra there. So this chakra would be the Anjani, which is the third eye chakra, because that's the symbol for that. And looks like this one is, that one's harder to tell. I think the solar plexus, I'm thinking the guidebook is going to tell us. So, so let's look here. Again, it's kind of hard for me because I don't want to drop you guys in the bathtub. And I don't want to drop my cards in the bathtub. Here's the first page. Dedicated to those who are willing to step into their power and find natural ways to do so. For a companion audio, audio meditation, you can download and use with these cards. That's cool. So it comes with a downloadable um, meditation. How to, how these cards can help you. The meanings of the cards. Okay, let's open up. Because I'm guessing it's going to tell you on the card, like the corresponding chakra, in case you're not familiar with the symbol of the chakra. I guess I just don't know how they fit 78, 78 cards worth of information in this guidebook, which is super tiny. But it looks like it's just giving you some different spreads you can do. Like, I'm already almost through the book, and I haven't even gotten to the guidebook yet. So I don't know that this is really going to give you a lot of information about the card. Actually, it's only going to give you how to use the cards. So it kind of will be up to you to be able to figure out what the symbols are for the chakra. I know you can look those up online. I'm pretty sure this is the solar plexus or the sacral chakra. But anyway... Okay, bergamot, which is the energy of expansion. Trigger statement is, I am not enough. The true statement is, I love myself. Your tender heart is in need of care. Know that your body is here to help you experience a miraculous life and embrace it. And of course, this is the symbol for the heart chakra. So we're not going to go through this entire deck because I actually... 
like to leave some mystery for you guys to be able to, um, you know, purchase the deck and have that discovery for yourself. Um, I'm actually going to skip Birch, even though you've just seen it. This is surprisingly, you guys, one of my favorite oils. And when I first seen it, I was like really surprised, like who would want black pepper? It's really, I love the masculinity of it. Um, you can see it's the energy of integration, integrate. It says the trigger statement is I am trapped. The true statement is I am whole. Allow the parts of yourself you hide to make themselves known. In the light, you will see the wisdom they hold. And this also, again, looks like it's the solar plexus chakra. So your self-power, your self-worth, your self-confidence to rescue yourself and not be trapped and understand that you were whole. So black pepper, although here's a funny story. I bought like a little, I'm going to have a water. I bought like a little car diffuser from doTERRA that you can like plug in the cigarette lighter and my daughter, my oldest daughter, Taya, she was like so excited to use it and I wasn't home. And so she called me and asked if she could go into my meditation room or my healing room and grab the oil to put in it. And I was like, yeah. So she didn't pay attention. She just grabbed this and had no idea what it was. And she like put like five or 10 drops in this little diffuser and they're driving down the road and she calls me and she's like, oh my God, this is like burning our nose and burning our mouth because black pepper is really spicy actually. So I was like, I, I was trying to think like what on earth oil could have she used that would have done that. And it, when I got into the car the next time I could smell the black pepper. So that was kind of a funny story. Um, I'm going to skip around a few. Ooh, Jasmine. Jasmine. Passion, as we all know. This is an aphrodisiac. Um, you know, get you into your sensual energy, get you into your feminine sexual power and energy. So passion, the trigger statement is I am scared. But the true statement is when I am vulnerable, I am at my strongest Reconnect with your feminine energy and pursue something that ignites your fire. Open the gates of your fortress and explore. So, of course, this would be the sacral chakra. And so now by process of elimination, we know this is solar plexus. And I'm starting to be able to tell these kind of the colors do match the chakra. So this is yellow. This is orange. This is purple. So the, the color of the card is going to resonate with the um, corresponding chakra, which I think is helpful. Juniper pear, juniper berry. So when I first joined this group, it was called Where Juniper Grows. They've since changed the name, um, but I love juniper berry. It's, it smells really good, um, and it just reminds me of when I started on my journey of education through this group. And so there's just a lot of fond memories there. But it's the energy of projection, okay? And the trigger statement is my mind does not rest. The true statement is I listen to my higher self. Look at each story that represents itself in your mind as a stranger would. Ask yourself, is this true? Okay, and so this... I don't know, though, because now I'm like, is this orange or is this red? I think, again, orange. I think we're still a sacral. I want to try to find one that would be the root chakra. I don't know that there is one. Lavender, so we have a green card here, so heart chakra. Lavender is about balance. Trigger statement, no one understands me. True statement, I ask for what I need. From a place of love, you need to stand up and speak your truth. What you wish for is what the universe wishes for you. Amen to that. And uh, I have a little kit that comes with a little five mil lavender, lemon, and peppermint. Um, it's a good little beginner kit. It's around like $20, so I would recommend that if you're new to essential oils. Lemon also is a great one you can cook with and ingest, same with lavender. If you've never had like lavender lemonade, oh man, you are missing out. It is so good. Okay, so lemon's about clarity. I am so confused is the trigger statement. The true statement is I am present. Allow your mind to clear and let the noise of your thoughts fall away. Listen to your intuition. And of course, this is the third eye chakra. So anyway, you guys, I think this is such a fun deck. Obviously, there's still like a ton of cards I could go through. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them. But I hope that this um, little unboxing wasn't too weird for you guys. <laughs> 
with me being in the tub, um, you know, it's important to take care. I think we use that, um, I think we use the term self-care so much nowadays, but we don't really, you know, it's not just about making like an Instagram post or a Snapchat with our little feet in the tub and like a cute little candle or a bath bomb, although that's fine. And I've done that too. Let's really like take the time and the energy to relax. I have literally four pounds of, um, Epsom salt in this tub right now, a four pound bag, the whole bag in this tub with some baking soda and, um, some essential oil. Like I said, I'm using the anchor steadying blend today from the yoga collection of doTERRA so you know treat yourself ground ground yourself I can always tell when I need grounding because I actually get super 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 um kind of hyped like my mind's going a mile a minute I always talk fast but if you guys can even hear how fast I'm talking right now and I actually feel like I have a lot of energy but eventually that will lead to me crashing and me potentially getting sick in addition to that, I'm actually doing um, hardcore fasting right now. So I am coming off of a, like, I've been fasted now for over 80 hours. I have not eaten anything. All I've had is water and some black coffee in the last over 80 hours. I think last night at like 9, nine o'clock at night was my 72 hour mark. So then plus 9 o'clock last night to 9 o'clock tonight, that's 12 more hours. So... 72, 82, 84, 85. It's already like noon, 85, 86, 87, 88. I'm like literally almost 90 hours fasted. So I um, I need to be grounded because food is a way to ground your body. In fact, if you're a reader and you find yourself, you know, needing grounding after a reading, the really quick way to do that is to eat something. Um, but when you're fasting, that's not really... Uh, option. So I, I depend on my tools such as crystals and oils to be able to do that for me. So um, again, I hope that I didn't ramble on too much in this video. I probably did and I apologize. Here is the beautiful deck, essential oil oracle cards. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe and like if you haven't already and we'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye.